Hi YouTube. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It has been an insane amount of time since I uploaded a video, but I'm in my new room. It's a new year. It's a sophomore year. And I actually live in a single this year, which is really exciting. Um, Lulu and I, my roommate from last year, if you've seen my previous video, she's in like all of them. Um, we did get along and we did one room again, but it just didn't work out with the way that the room picks worked. Um, so we both ended up in a single and I actually really love it. So whether you're a current student and you're thinking about living in a single or you're just exploring my page, hello. <laughs> I hope you find this video like fun and entertaining and maybe useful. So I will show you around. I really like how minimalist it is in here. At least that was my goal. I hope you think it's minimalist. All the stuff I show in this video, I will try to link below. If I miss something that you like, let me know and I'll see if I can find where I bought it from. And other than that, we'll get started. Okay, so when you first walk in on the wall with the door, I have this really cute mirror. Um, I just think it's nice to have something other than what the dorm comes with, kind of cute personal touch. And then I have that right next to my wardrobe. So I keep my laundry supplies up here, my detergent and my conditioner, softener, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then if you see over there, I also have my Alexa show, which I can use as a speaker. It tells me the time, it tells me the weather. Um, I can watch movies on there too. So if that sounds interesting, I would definitely look into it. I didn't know if I would like it at first, but I genuinely rely on it like quite a lot. Um, inside of my wardrobe. So this is where I keep all my hanging clothes. If you saw my wardrobe last year, this is better. This is fewer items. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's fewer items. One thing I would recommend doing is getting the exact same hanger for all of your clothes. Hangers aren't expensive. It's worth it to give it a much cleaner look. This, this is a really awful angle. But I keep all my shoes in a pile down there because I have way too many of them to have the space to organize them. And then I just put like all my delicates and like my sports bras and stuff in this three drawer set, which can be the three drawer set inside of your dresser can be removed and you can put it anywhere in the room for what's convenient for you. I just like to keep it in there um, to save a little bit of space, but all right. Next to my wardrobe, I have my desk. I actually keep my trash cans in this little slit if that's important to you. These don't belong here. I will be hanging out my LED lights like every other college kid. The reason I'm waiting is because I don't want them to fall off since it's been hot. Things don't stick on the walls as easily when it's hot out. So I'm just being extra cautious and I'm also kind of lazy. Otherwise, I try to keep my desk really clean. Have essentially nothing on it. I have some postcards back here and a couple little pictures. Um, in this top drawer, I keep my electronics. So I have a speaker, a camera, extra chargers, my AirPods, everything in here. The next drawer down, you can't see. Yeah. The next drawer down is where I keep all my extra school supplies. So I just have some pens, post-it notes, flashcards, things like that. And lastly, I have a couple extra bathroom items, all my makeup's back here, and just like perfume and hairsprays and face masks and such. I probably would recommend getting some sort of cart or shelving system to keep your bathroom stuff if you don't want it in a dresser, desk drawer like that. Um, if you want it closer to your sink, I would do that. Um, up here, I have some books that I need for class. And these are like extra notebooks, the yearbook from last year that I still haven't opened because <laughs> it's just intimidatingly large. And then this fan, I would invest in a fan like this. It can clip and turn and go this way, which then faces my face while I'm sleeping. So that was a really good solution for having like a fan in my face without having to buy multiple. And then this photo up here, Okay, this photo up here is called the fearless photo. It was a gift. It was a big frame and kind of heavy, so I was nervous about hanging it up. But what we did was got command strips. I think there's four of them on the back. 
and we got the Velcro ones. We just let the part that was attached to the wall sit there for a good while before actually sticking it on, and I've had zero problems with it. So if you do want to put a frame up, it is possible. Don't feel like you have to get some double-sided tape and put up print-out photos. You can make it as sophisticated or as creative as you want. So there's that. And next to it's my bed. I also didn't mention that I have like a little seat cover for my chair, but I had this last year. So if you're new, get one of these. These chairs aren't comfortable. And even if you buy a chair, you still have to be responsible for keeping this furniture stored in your room. So you might as well just get a cushion. But this is my bed, Junior Lofted. This is how high it comes up on me. And I'm wearing heels right now. And I'm a tall woman, I'm like 5'10". So it is quite a jump to get up here. Kind of entertaining, I'm not going to do it for you. Sorry. Um, but <laughs> this height is really nice because I can fit my drawers underneath it, but it's not lofted. Like I don't have to get on a ladder and climb up to my bed. Um, I think it makes use of this slanted wall really nice, which almost all the rooms on the fourth floor have a slanted wall, I believe, in Lyons. So be aware of that when planning your room. They don't all look the same. The thing about junior loft in your bed is so easy to make. I've actually been making my bed in the morning. I know my dad watching does not believe me, but I genuinely make it every morning, especially since it's like the first thing you see when you walk in the door. So yay for that. Under my bed, I put this dresser. Um, there is quite a lot of space in here. But I do know that most people, especially girls, have it filled to the brim. So if you have room, I would buy another set. I didn't, I feel so uncomfortable sitting like this. Okay, hold on. I did not have a drawer set like this last year. And the reason that I bought it this year, other than the fact of like having more space, is that I joined the rowing team. So they gave me a lot of gear and I had nowhere to put it. So all of my training gear as I get it will slowly start to accumulate in here. I got it for like really cheap at Target and it just slides out so easily. It fits underneath the bed perfectly. It looks good with the color scale, everything. And then I also have this basket, which I used last year as well. And I just roll up extra towels, blankets, sheets. Anyway, so my bed ends with kind of an awkward amount of space back there. So if you can see, I put uh, my laundry basket back there. I like that it's hidden. And then my ladder, since I'm not using it, just has some like purses and things hanging from it. And then of course, get yourself a box fan. If you're, even if, no, even if your dorm has AC, it's not perfect. So go ahead and get yourself a box fan. <laughs> you will thank me. So when I'm laying on my bed, no, this is, I had these wire grids before. I think they're cleaner than a bulletin board. I think they like go with like the modern minimalist look that I really like. And then these little clips are actually lights. So they turn on and they work perfectly. Again, command hooks, it's your solution to everything. And then I have this three tier basket on the top. I keep washcloths. In the middle, I keep dishes. And on the bottom, I just keep the easily accessible bathroom stuff. So I have my hairbrush, my toothpaste, and my curler and straightener in there. Is that too dark? In here, there's a couple shelves, and then underneath the sink, there's some storage. I just put cleaning supplies, all extra bathroom stuff, any medications, all those sort of things, tissues, that's all underneath the sink. And then inside the sink, I have like my face wash and the stuff that I would probably grab more. I wanted to keep my sink really clean, so I have this air freshener thing, which is honestly, concerningly, being used up quickly, anyway. Um, just a soap, and then this toothbrush holder is so cute. I actually really like it. Wait, let me show you. I got this for Amazon, and look how cute that is. Anyway, I don't look in the mirror. This is what happens when I tell Lulu she could have the day off. Um, this is my food corner. I, this is the fridge from last year. I appreciate how it has a freezer element. Um, invested in a little curing cup holder, which I think is so cute. And bought in a new little mug for my Keurig. I did invest in a cart though, but I just put extra snack, snacks on a little rolling cart. This is like one that I was saying you could use for a bathroom situation, like for next to the sink, if I put it here or something, that would be pretty helpful. Um, I just use it as a pantry. I think it's really cute. And this rug, I got a rug. I took my shoes off. I also got a rug. 
which is really nice because it looks exactly like Lulu's from last year that I was obsessed with and would lay on and go and take naps on all the time. Anyway. Okay, thank you for watching. That was my super casual, long time since I filmed a video dorm tour. Um, this is more for me and my creative outlet and for the couple of freshmen who have told me that they watch my videos. That's really exciting. I. I didn't know if that was gonna happen or not, but kind of fun that it does. So yes, if you watch my videos and you see me on campus, say hi. I know this was chill, but thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell since I like never post, you'll never know when I post, but I'm sure you'll wanna watch the videos. So let me know if you wanna see Lulu's room, what it looks like, and I'm gonna go do some homework. So have a good day. <laughs>